Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have a really interesting watch on the channel. This is from Nove Watches, or Nove Watches. Um, they're a pretty interesting brand. They produce a lot of really slim watches. And I reviewed a few of their watches in the past. Very thin, they have Swiss quartz models, Swiss automatic models. This happens to be their new Nove Marine Diver. It's a 200 meter diver with dual crowns. It's actually really nice and it really caught my eye. Due to being a smaller size, some of their other watches were a bit larger. Uh, this one appealed to me just because it had a very nice size to it and dual crowns as well. And a really unique, you know, design. Something you haven't really seen before. Something that's not out there. Something that, that you know, is not taken from other brands, I should say. And it's actually really, really cool, interesting, unique, and uh, definitely very nice looking. And their quality is always pretty good. These watches also do get a three-year warranty, uh, which is very nice. Comes in your little traveling case, along with a polishing cloth. Now, this watch is 880 US dollars, um, but I believe if you sign up for their newsletter on their website, you can definitely get a discount sometimes. Um, so definitely check out. I will drop a link to them down in the description below. Anyway, guys, let's jump right into it. Sorry for the glare here, but you know, it's just very shiny materials here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, let's get some basic stuff out of the way. Well, what are the actual dimensions of this timepiece? We are looking at a case diameter of 41.5 millimeters, making this a very nicely modern sized diver, I'd say, 41.5. In terms of case thickness, we're looking at 13 millimeters, which is very nice. You can see that pronounced dome on that sapphire crystal, which is very nice. There's a little surprise on the case back. There was also a crystal that might be domed as well, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Just quite an interesting design here. The watch is all crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. It comes on this nice, interesting bracelet as well. The lugs are 22 millimeters. So you can definitely, you know, swap out bands to a rubber band if you want to uh, when you take it in the water. It's definitely a very aquatic watch, I must say. It has, you know, a very aquatic look, something you want to take in the water. And it would look pretty cool in the water as well. Um, this is the marine blue dial. There also is a black and a green variant. Um, this is just a blue one, as you can see there, signed Nove on that screw down crown there. We do get 200 meters of water resistance, making this a very capable diver. Um, yeah, just make sure those crowns are screwed down. They're both screwed down, uh, just to mention. So this crown actually activates the inner rotating dive 60 minute bezel, and this activates or actuates the actual movement, which is an SW200. So we're getting a Swiss made caliber. This is a marked a Swiss made watch. And we also do get a pretty interesting dial here. If we get you in a little closer here, you can see the Nove applied logo below the 12 o'clock position, automatic in red, red accent on that sweeping seconds hand with a rectangle at the end in red. As you can see there, the inner rotating dive bezel is actually floating on top of that matte blue dial, uh, which is quite interesting. So it kind of appears floating because it's placed above the dial. It's a separate piece, obviously. Um, but yeah, that is all loomed as well. And the loom on this thing is really, really, really good. I must say, I was quite surprised by the actual loom on this watch. Most of you guys, yet most of you guys don't know, the SW200 is a Swiss automatic caliber, very similar to an ETA 2824. Definitely a workhorse Swiss automatic caliber. Something you would see mostly in watches, you know, $1,000, $1,500 and under. Um, even using some Oris watches that are much more expensive than that from the past. Um, but yeah, the SW200 has about, you know, a 41 hour power reserve, beats at 4 hertz, 28,800 beats per hour, as hacking, hand winding, and a quick set date. So, let me go ahead and unscrew the crown here. Feels pretty solid, nice pop out, get self winding, then you get one position, quick set date, then you get a final hacking position, and you can set the time here. Very nice crown, I must say. It feels very sturdy, doesn't feel of low quality or anything. Like I said, no quality is always very good. Uh, I never had an issue with any of their watches. Let me just go ahead and screw that back down. Their quality control is definitely very good, because I never had any issues with their watches. Now this is to actually use the inner rotating bezel there, which is pretty cool, so unscrew this. And you can basically time up to 60 minutes. There's your 12 right there. And you would just place this over here and then put this and screw the crown back in and it functions very nicely, I must say. Uh, feels very good. Now, the actual finishing on the case, you get polishing on this Nove uh, signed crown. 
you get this kind of white crown. Well, what is that? It's actually loom, this portion. Um, so the, the crown that actuates the inner rotating bezel is actually fully loomed. Very, very bright looming green. Then we get brushing over here. A little polishing over here, as you can see. Polishing coming across the tops of the case. And right over here, going all around the sides of the case. And the rest is brushed. I must say it's pretty nicely done. Uh, feels very, very nice. As you can see, these lugs kind of come to an end here, are a bit thicker, and kind of droop down towards the end, making this wear on your wrist, you know, pretty, pretty nice. I must say, it wears like, kind of like a 46 lug to lug, um, even though it's about 47 lug to lug. Since it is kind of squarish, as you can see there, it plants itself very flat and nice on the wrist. And it's really a comfort and, you know, very, very nice to wear. Um, the bracelet itself is 22 millimeters, as you can see. Comes down to this custom Nove clasp here. Uh, so we get a custom Nove polished portion over here. The rest is brushed. This is actually raised over here. And then this opens up by friction here. You get a custom, as you can see here, uh, milled clasp, Nove rapid ratch buckle, stainless steel. And this one does come with the on the fly adjustment, as you can see. So you can pull in and out, you know, a couple links there, and it's pretty nice. The bracelet itself is using screws, and it actually is pretty flexible. Um, the finishing is pretty decent as well as you can see there. And yeah, that's how it looks. This is all uh, brushed over here. Then you have polished little diagonals over here going around both sides. So yeah, pretty interesting bracelet, a straight bracelet, 22. I think it kind of fits in with this kind of square, off squarish case. It's not exactly a square. Now there is a lot of loom on this watch as well. So we're getting loom on all these raised markers over here. As you can see, loom on the actual hands, which are very thick. As you can see those long rectangular hands there, which come to a point at the end are very are very thick and they're very, you know, making it very easy to read the time quickly, which is something you want on a dive watch in my honest opinion there. Um, but anyway, we didn't actually look at the case back yet. And the cool thing about this case back is it has a domed crystal. Look at that. There's an actually a domed <laughs> crystal on the actual case back. And they did a pretty nice job. They decorated the rotor with their logo, Nove, as you can see there. Screwed in case back, sapphire crystal. As you can see, this is a different finishing than the actual brush finishing. It's more of like a sandblasted finish. And it just looks pretty nice. Everything is raised here, as you can see. So it's actually pretty nice. You can feel the text. And overall, it looks pretty good for an SW200, I must say. And uh, yeah, you do get quick release on this bracelet as well if you want to swap bands out there. And they did go ahead and throw these Swiss made on the case back as well. Now, um, I did mention earlier, but there also is a nicely domed air-coated sapphire crystal on the front of the watch as well, uh, which definitely looks pretty nice. Anyway, kind of like a kind of futuristic, but kind of, you know, hints from the past. It's kind of like a whole mix, this watch. I just thought it was uh, quite interesting. And this portion is fully polished on the smooth bezel here. I'm pretty sure it's stainless steel or anodized steel that's fully polished. I don't think it's ceramic. Um, they don't state anywhere on the website that it is ceramic. So I'm pretty sure it's just anodized steel there, which is coated with a bluish color. Um, but nonetheless, very legible, easy to read, dual crown diver, Swiss made, 880 bucks. I think it's a pretty nice watch. Comes on a custom bracelet as well. And uh, let's get into the loom. I think the loom is uh, you know, a big thing for me, especially on a diver. And this one has a lot of it. As you can see, I definitely fully loom this thing up. And this thing just glows like a torch, I must say. There's a lot of loom applied. Very evenly applied as well. No blotchiness or anything like that. And take a look at that. The actual crown is fully loomed as well. The loom is really, really nice. It's very easy you know, to see the actual dial and every, basically every section of the watch. Uh, with this loom, it definitely doesn't fade quickly. And overall, I think it's uh, pretty generous to loom on this watch for the price. And on my 6.5 inch wrist, 6.75 inch wrist, as you can see these dimensions fit my wrist very nicely. As you can see from a side profile there, pretty close up, it wears pretty slim, I must say. You know, for you know an automatic Swiss diver, 200 meters that has an SW200, it's pretty thin. And as you can see, lug to lug, it just fits perfectly across my wrist there. And my wrist is not that big, like I stated. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you can throw this on a nice rubber band. It's going to bring the weight down a little bit of the watch as well, making it very light as well, actually, without the bracelet, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, definitely looks pretty nice on the wrist there. 
and I have a 6.5 inch wrist. I don't have a big wrist, so if your wrist is 6.57 inches, this thing fits you like, you know, like a 40 millimeter diver. Furthermore, guys, I think this watch is really, really nice. I mean, the quality is always there with, with uh, Nove watches. Um, they produce some really interesting watches. They have some of the thinnest watches out there as well, if you check on their website. One of the watches I actually did review in the past, I believe, was just as thin as some of the Bulgari watches that they make, which is, you know, quite impressive for a brand like this. I wouldn't really call Nove a micro brand. I'd call them a smaller brand. They definitely are pretty well established, and their shipping is always pretty good. They have good customer service, and they get a three-year warranty on all their watches which is always nice. All their designs are their designs, which is very rare nowadays. Um, even with larger brands kind of stealing, you know, design cues from other brands, Nove definitely keeps it 100% original with always, you know, new interesting concepts. And this one is no exception. Um, but just look at this case. It's a very, very cool watch. If you definitely want something in your collection that you can take in the water, and it's very reliable, Swiss automatic caliber, tried, trued, and tested, no, definitely check them out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this new Novik Marine Diver, I think it's quite nice. Um, no issues on my end. Uh, the watch is running great. Uh, the shipping was fast, no quality control issues, no sharp edges or anything like that. I think it's a pretty good package for what you get for 880 bucks nowadays. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Fiction Watchers with the Nove Marine Diver. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.